The Jungle Adventure In a land far away, hidden deep within a vast and thick jungle, lived a young boy named Mowgli. Mowgli was not like the other creatures of the jungle. He was human, but he had grown up in the wild. When he was just a baby, he was found alone in a basket by a wolf named Raksha. She took him to her cave, where she and her mate, Father Wolf, decided to raise him as their own. They called him Mowgli, which means little frog, because he was small and hairless like a frog. The jungle was Mowgli's home, and he loved every part of it. The trees were tall and thick, with leaves that danced in the wind. The rivers were clear and cool, full of fish and life. Mowgli felt safe and happy in the jungle, surrounded by his wolf family and the other animals. But growing up in the jungle was not easy. Mowgli had to learn the ways of the wild, how to hunt, how to hide, and how to survive. Mowgli's closest friends were Baloo, the sleepy brown bear, and Bagheera, the sleek black panther. Baloo was like a big, gentle giant who loved to sleep, eat, and sing. He taught Mowgli the simple joys of life, like finding sweet honey in the beehives and munching on juicy fruits. Baloo also taught Mowgli about the jungle law, the rules that all animals had to follow to live in harmony. Bagheera, on the other hand, was more serious. He was quick, wise, and always thinking ahead. He taught Mowgli how to be careful, how to move silently, and how to use his mind to solve problems. Bagheera cared deeply for Mowgli and watched over him like a guardian. He knew that the jungle could be a dangerous place, and he always wanted Mowgli to be safe. But not everything in the jungle was friendly. The most feared creature of all was Shere Khan, the mighty tiger. Shere Khan was big, strong, and filled with hatred for humans. He had been hurt by men long ago, and since then, he vowed to kill any human he found. When Shere Khan heard that a human child was living in his jungle, he became angry. He made it clear that one day he would find and kill Mowgli. The wolf pack knew that Shere Khan was serious, and they warned Mowgli to stay far away from him. As Mowgli grew older, he became more curious about the world outside the jungle. He often asked Baloo and Bagheera about the man village where humans lived. Bagheera told Mowgli that the man village was a place where he could find others like him with houses, food, and fires to keep warm. But Mowgli was not interested in leaving the jungle. He loved his wild home and his animal friends. One day, while exploring near the river, Mowgli came across Ka, the giant python. Ka was sly and dangerous. He could wrap himself around his prey and squeeze until they could not breathe. Ka tried to hypnotize Mowgli with his glittering eyes, swaying back and forth like a pendulum. Mowgli felt his eyelids grow heavy, but just before he fell under Ka's spell, Bagheera leapt from the bushes and attacked Ka, saving Mowgli in the nick of time. Bagheera scolded Mowgli, reminding him that the jungle was full of dangers. As time passed, Mowgli became stronger and smarter. He learned to run with the wolves, climb trees like a monkey, and even swim with the crocodiles. The jungle was his playground, and he was as wild as the animals he lived with. But despite his joy, there was always the shadow of Shere Khan lurking nearby. The tiger never forgot about Mowgli and waited for the perfect moment to strike. One night, during a full moon, the wolf pack gathered on a hilltop. The leader of the pack, Akela, stood tall and proud. He was old and wise, and he knew that the time had come to discuss Mowgli's future. 
Akela told the pack that Mowgli was no longer safe in the jungle. Shere Khan was getting closer, and soon Mowgli would be in great danger. Bagheera agreed with Akela and suggested that Mowgli should leave the jungle and go to the man village, where he would be safe. Mowgli was heartbroken. He did not want to leave the jungle, the only home he had ever known. He did not want to say goodbye to Baloo, Bagheera, and his wolf family. But deep down, he knew they were right. The jungle was becoming too dangerous for him. The next morning, Bagheera and Baloo took Mowgli on a journey to the man village. Along the way, they came across a group of monkeys, the Bondar Log, who lived high in the treetops. The monkeys were mischievous and always causing trouble. They were curious about Mowgli and wanted to make him their leader because he could do things they couldn't, like making tools and using fire. The monkeys kidnapped Mowgli and took him to an ancient temple deep in the jungle. The temple was overgrown with vines and covered in moss. It was a place forgotten by time. The monkeys danced around Mowgli, shouting and laughing, but Mowgli was not afraid. He knew that Bagheera and Baloo would come for him, and they did. Baloo charged into the temple with a loud roar, while Bagheera moved swiftly through the shadows. Together, they fought off the monkeys and rescued Mowgli. After escaping the monkeys, the three friends rested by a small waterfall. Baloo and Bagheera reminded Mowgli that they loved him like a son, but they could not protect him from Shere Khan forever. They urged him to go to the man village, where he would be safe. As they continued their journey, the sky grew dark, and thunder rumbled in the distance. A storm was coming. Mowgli felt uneasy, as if something bad was about to happen. Suddenly, from the shadows, Shere Khan appeared, his eyes glowing like embers. The tiger snarled, and the jungle went silent. Mowgli's heart pounded in his chest, but he knew he had to be brave. Mowgli remembered what Baloo had taught him, tigers were afraid of fire. He looked around and saw a tree struck by lightning, its branches burning. Quickly, Mowgli grabbed a stick from the flames and waved it at Shere Khan. The tiger hissed and backed away, his fear of fire overcoming his anger. Mowgli chased Shere Khan until the tiger ran off into the jungle, defeated. With Shere Khan gone, Mowgli realized that he could no longer stay in the jungle. The animals cheered for him, proud of his bravery but Mowgli knew it was time to go to the man village. He hugged Baloo, Bagheera, and the wolves one last time, thanking them for all they had done. He walked towards the man village, his heart heavy but full of hope. When Mowgli reached the village, he was welcomed by the people with open arms. They were amazed by the wild boy who had lived in the jungle. Mowgli quickly made new friends and learned the ways of humans. He found comfort in the warmth of the fire and the taste of cooked food. But no matter how happy he was in the village, he never forgot his life in the jungle. Every night, as Mowgli lay in bed, he listened to the sounds of the jungle, the distant howl of the wolves, the call of the birds, and the rustling of the leaves. He knew that the jungle would always be a part of him, and he would forever be the boy who lived among the wild creatures. Though his life had changed, the spirit of the jungle would live in his heart forever. If you enjoyed this story, watch the story next and don't forget to and subscribe to our channel for more stories.